Hey everybody, let's do another toy review. This is Space Battle Game, which has nothing to do with the Intellivision classic, sadly. This is made by Blue Box from 1988, so it's a late 80s toy right before the Game Boy came out. There's a little counter up top here that you're supposed to set at zero, and it's at zero right now, it's kind of hard to see. You have a plunger and a single ball. What happens is you're going to turn this timer and then you're going to try and hit this target up here. And when you hit it directly, it should make the counter jump up to one. Uh, the goal is to get uh, 11. If you get 10, that's great. If you get 11, a little crown, I think, shows up. Looks like this game was inspired by Electronic Arts, looking at these uh, shapes right here. And something interesting about this is you can find it in different color plastic. So anything made of plastic, the outside the little shapes here, the dial, they can all come in different colors. Currently, I looked at eBay. Someone was selling this loose for $7.50 with free shipping, and someone was selling a new one in the box for $30 plus shipping, but none had sold recently. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So got to turn the dial here. And it doesn't stop, so I kind of have to really keep turning it here. And we're going to see what we could do. So... I shoot it up and I hit it, but it didn't register. Oh, that time it registered. Come on, get out of the way. That one registered, but, and my game's done and it only registered one hit. I hit it several times. It could be that this is just an old game, so it takes more to do it. Like when I hit the first time, it kind of skipped ahead to like half between zero and one, and then it went to one. But I could still play it like this, and you just keep trying to hit the target, but it's just having trouble registering. It just might be its age. But if you get it all the way, let's see, 9, 10. Let's see if I can get it to register. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get one more hit to make the crown appear. So I'm going to turn this some more. It doesn't last very long either. And it went to half the crown, or actually... It passed the crown. It went to the crown and then it went to zero. So my counter might be slightly misregistering. I don't know if you could see it, but there's a little crown in there. Really hard to see. But that's basically space battle game. So personally, as far as these kind of wind up toys go, not one of my favorites. There are Tommy Pocket games I'd rather, rather play. There's a Space Invader style one that's kind of like this. That's a little bit better um, executed in my opinion. But it's still something that's kind of cool to find. Um, I think I got this in a lot on eBay. I bought some wind-up games. I included some Tommy Pocket ones, and this was just thrown in. So not bad for a throw-in, not something I would go out of my way for. So there you go, Space Battle Game. It's a little uh, pocket game that doesn't quite fit in your pocket because it's really massive. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll see you next time on the next Nosewear Gamer video.